Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be another commission piece. Um, I've, a buddy of mine, um, I actually met him, we worked together, this is where we initially met, but we've become friends over the years. And uh, he's a really good guy, and he's he's bought some of my paintings before. I actually, uh, back when I was oil painting, um, I felt like I needed to paint him a picture and uh, give it to him for Christmas, and I surprised him with it, and he just loved it, and he still talks about it today, and it's been uh, probably five or six years ago that I did this, and so I've known I've known Greg for probably probably t at least twenty years or more, and uh, so he's come to a couple of my shows. And he has bought some, some paintings of mine, some fluid acrylic paintings. And then I did a, I did a kind of a commission piece for a clock face. Uh, and I don't know if he, I don't really remember if he's actually, I think he liked it so much that he didn't want to put the clock parts back in it. And, uh, so excuse me. Uh, I think he's just got it as a round excuse me, very, very cool piece. So, uh, Greg is a musician, um, uh, as well. And so he has, I think he was fixing up his garage as a studio or fixing up a room as a studio. And so he was wanting, uh, some, he was wanting some pieces for his studio. And one of the things is that he needs to hide the electrical cabinet. So I'm doing a, we, we figured up the size. So a 24 by 36 will be big enough, really big enough to cover this electrical cabinet. And he basically said, you have free reign. I just want you to paint something and you know, I'll, I'll just leave it up to you, the colors and, and the design and everything. He didn't really care, but he did say something like, uh, you know, if you want to make it uh, something religious, that would be that would be great. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, so I kind of thought about it. I prayed about it because I wanted him to have a, a really awesome piece. And so it came to me to do. Um, so like these mudding ones I've been doing, I've noticed that the the brown paints on that white background it just it pops i know it's hard to tell by the videos and pictures you have to see them in person uh which actually this is the only one i have left out of the five i've done i think it's been five but uh so <clears throat> i decided to go with the white background one white represents purity uh which god is pure and and peace. So there you go. There's that represents the white. And then I am going to do the browns. I'm using three different browns and I'm going to pour, um, like a cross on it with the browns. And I'm also thinking about putting a little bit of red, uh, to kind of, uh, for the blood of Christ on the, on the cross. So the three browns I'm using are going to be Masters or Fine Touch. It's also Masters Touch. Uh, raw Sienna. I got this tube for 74 cents. That's a great buy. Uh, Masters Touch Burnt Umber. And then also a Masters Touch a Red Ochre. And of course the white and the red are going to be Artist Loft. Just the Artist Loft brand. So, I've already got the paints mixed. I've got my canvas uh, set up, ready to go. So all we have to do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put the white layer down. I'm gonna skip that in the video because that's just kind of boring. And uh, and then we'll get started on it. And uh, well, hopefully this this will turn out great. Um, I think it will. All right, I got my paints. Mixed, I got them put in, I got all my colors 
all my browns in one cup and now I'm just going to pour it and just kind of go layer it like this. This side, I'm actually going to tilt it and let it run down. If I go on the other way, I'm not going to be able to do this. Trying to get a little bit of the just widen that a little bit up there. I just need a little bit more brown to widen that across part <clears throat> just a little bit so Alright, uh, 
I came in this morning. It's actually evening because I had to go to work, but I came in this morning and found it like this. It's actually when I got back from work this later in the day, about, I don't know, probably about 12 hours later, <clears throat> it had come even more. Now, I leveled this, but it seems like it's all coming this way. So I'm wondering if I would have had a a small, one of my little tripod things underneath here. Maybe it wouldn't have done that. But this is what I'm talking about when I say you need to make sure it's level or you'll have a paint slide. So this really has messed up my cross. It doesn't really look like a cross anymore. So I'm going to attempt to fix this. So I thought I'd record how I'm going to fix this. If it doesn't turn out well when I fix this, I will probably just repaint over this uh, because this is not what I want. So what I've done is I've mixed some white paint and I've got my tool here, my little scraper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to try to scrape, scrape it off best I can. Get it, get it about right there. I might, I might go this way a little bit, but I'm going to try to get all this off right across here. And then I'm going to pour some more white paint on it and uh, get it to where it will not, you know, straight, you know, it's like, it doesn't have to be straight, but, you know, it's pretty straight, just basically covering this up with white. So here we go. I'm going to try to attempt to do it right here first because this is still wet. All right. That's the, at least that's the good thing about it being, um, still wet. So,
cows. Alright, I think I fixed it pretty well. I had scooped up some brown paint that had, a lot of the paint had dripped off there, it was still wet. I was able to fill in this kind of spot there. Of course, you know. This doesn't have to look straight, you know, straight lines. So you got the curvature of it. So that turned out pretty good. So it'll, it'll work. It'll work. So let's get a little bubbly popping on here. Yeah, I was really discouraged this morning when I saw that. Wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. And uh, that's when it finally hit me, especially when I came in tonight was, you know, it's still pretty wet. It was, it was starting to dry around the edges, but it was still pretty wet. And I knew that I could scrape it off and pour in some paint and get that in there. So what we'll do just... Here because it does look right here it does look pretty straight and we don't want it straight so we'll just <clears throat> we'll just make it so it's not so so straight So there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here. I'm actually going to put a one of these in there. Just kind of keep it from doing that again. I actually raised it up quite a bit, but... I'll have to come back in here in a couple hours and check this 
Um, make sure it's not sliding that way now. Since I did this, it raised it. As you can see, it bounces back and forth here. So it's not actually sitting on the end ones. It's just sitting on this one. And I would think that the paints would be so... tall in this that it would... Raise it up, isn't it? Just looking at possible jewelry pieces. This is the time to make jewelry when the stuff drips off. So what I do is I take a cabochon. As you can see, it's flat on the bottom. I put a piece of scotch tape, loop it so you can hold it and dip it in the paint. So I have some nice patterns right down here where it's dripping. So I'm going to try to drip it in there. And then I will show you what it looks like. See that right there? I don't know if you can see that in the light. But I'll turn that upside down. And then set it on my drying space and in the morning I can come get that doesn't have to be in the morning but I can come get that tomorrow and if I wanted to which I probably won't tomorrow but I've got some other jewelry pieces in there I'll be able to draw uh, I'll be able to uh, glue those into the setting when they're all dry so so I do think I saved it uh, which I'm happy about because I did not want to repaint it I would have um, but that's not what I wanted to do so I'm glad it was able to be saved. And now I still have to worry about I still have to worry about it running off now. So I'm afraid if I pull this back out, pull it out back here, that it'll keep maybe keep continuing since I've added more paint, but hopefully it won't. But um but and then I've got to watch it to make sure it's not going to drift that way, which I don't think it will, but you never know.